All right, welcome back, eSIM Studio. So I wanted to do not much of this testing on YouTube. So I wanted to do a quick testing, kind of nerd uh, testing, but uh, it is what it is. We're testing the modem right now. This is just one part of the modem. So in the modem, uh, it incorporates the uh, how your device communicates with networks, whether it be Wi-Fi connectivity uh, or data connectivity from your carrier. Now, this was just on Wi-Fi. So I wanted to do a speed test, testing the modems in these devices to see how it handles uh, our Wi-Fi. So we have two gigabit download speeds, two gigabit uh, per second through Google Fiber. Um, and I tested each one of these individually. I did not run them all at the same time because that would hinder the test. I ran this one. And then I waited uh, a little bit, and then I tested this one, then I waited a little bit, and then I tested this one, waited, tested this one. So each one got a fair shot at a really good download link and testing the speed. So these speeds are all relevant, and I'll, I'll show you what devices are which. You might be able to tell. Uh, these are all relevant to what pretty accurate is, is to far, as far as what device has what modem uh, in there, right? So this is the Pixel 9 Pro XL. And I'll put some graphics on the screen so you, you'll be able to identify them. Pixel 9 Pro XL, S24 Plus, Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus, One Plus 13, and the Apple iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, this device... I'm going to put this graphic on, uh, but it's easier for me to tell. This Pixel 9 Pro XL has the Exynos 5400 modem. Exynos 5400 drastically improved data connectivity when you're off of Wi-Fi. And I get really, really good Wi-Fi uh, connectivity as well. So a huge improvement on the Pixel 9 Pro X on the Pixel 9 series. They put this Exynos 5400 modem in all the Pixel 9 devices. Significant upgrade over the Pixel 8 series. Lots of people had connectivity issues with the Pixel 8 series. This Pixel 9 Pro uh, XL with the Exynos 5400 modem in it uh, essentially solved all those issues. Decent modem. Uh, not the greatest uh, speeds as these two, but very sh uh, not the absolute fastest speeds, but very strong connections. It'll lock on to a to a uh, uh, a signal and hold on to it. Now, S twenty four plus. This has the Snapdragon Qualcomm Snapdragon X seventy five modem. It is a year old, about a year and a half old. It was their flagship modem a year ago, or up to I guess two years ago. It's what it was their flagship modem that came in all the flagship devices of last year. The S, uh, uh, the new S25 series that's going to come out in a few weeks has the new upgraded Snapdragon X80 modem that the OnePlus 13 has in it. So the OnePlus 13 has the brand new Snapdragon X80 modem. So all the S25 series will have this new modem in it. And this is last year's modem, Snapdragon modem. And this is last year's flagship modem. And this is this year's flagship modem, X80. As you can tell by the speeds, blows away the old speeds. Now, this iPhone uses the modem in between these two. So the iPhone 16 Pro Max and all iPhone 16 models uses the Snapdragon X71 modem. So, well, actually, I guess it's I guess it's it's not in between these two because they had a X seventy, X seventy one, X seventy five, and X eighty. Anyways, look at those speeds, really good speeds, second best. So don't know the issue uh, when it comes to um, this one is supposed to be newer than this one which doesn't really make sense but this one it was a custom made uh it wasn't the typical snapdragon uh it was an upgrade from the x70 but it wasn't quite on the x75 but what i do know i did do some investigating because that kind of a conundrum i was like huh that's weird um they actually kind of customized it just for iphone snapdragon did qualcomm did just for apple so that's probably why you see the drastic speeds because technically this 
with the X75 is supposed to be faster than the X71, but the uh, the uh, speeds don't lie. So the very latest and greatest Snapdragon X80 on the OnePlus 13 um, takes the crown not only in download speed but upload as well. And you can tell the 10 milliseconds is a very pretty low uh, latency. And obviously, uh, this has the 10 milliseconds as well. And here you get 11 and 11. So that's pretty typical. Um, although most of them get really good speeds. Again, Pixel 9 Pro XL, S24 Plus, OnePlus 13, and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So I will test the data speeds outside of Wi-Fi as well. But uh, all of these get very good Wi-Fi connections and uh, pretty pretty so this is this is pretty damn fast typically i'll typically get those speeds when i'm plugged in uh with an ethernet cable but that's pretty darn fast on wi-fi so and i'm not that far away from my uh mesh network uh router that i have set up i'm about 10 feet away so uh good test here please stay tuned to the channel lots of testing to come i got all the flagships here and we're going to get the new S25 Ultra in and add to our flagship lineup. We're going to do testing between these of all sorts. We're going to do case reviews and everything in between that you can think of. So subscribe to the channel so you get notified of all new videos uploaded. And as always, see y'all later. Peace.